Every 65 minutes that passes, a U.S. veteran commits suicide. That's roughly 20 veterans a day and over 7,000 veterans a year. The nightmares, they would all be panic-related, wake up in the cold sweat sort of thing. Sometimes I wouldn't even remember what it was that I was dreaming of. I struggled with depression and eating disorders, cutting from the time I was about 14. My PTSD got so bad that I thought I was developing dementia. It makes some knots on your forehead. John's eyes protected with stainless steel goggles, and this is a, a very high-powered near-infrared laser. Three or four fans cooling him down on a real-time temperature monitor. I just got out of the Air Force, close to six years. I got to deploy twice downrange. I went to right outside Iraq, Ali Salim, and then I also went to Qatar. John comes to us from South Dakota. I've been dealing with nightmares for five years. After my service ended, I've been just trying to get reintegrated back into society. So how are you doing, Bernadette? Really good today. The focus is back. Clarity is awesome. I have no brain fog this morning, which is huge. I was with the Army National Guard for eight years total, and my highest rank was an E4. Quite a few people confided in me. It was astounding how many of them had encountered sexual assault while they were overseas. I am desperate to get treatment. I've been a treatment failure in just about every modality. I have a degree, psychology PhD, pretty good academic pedigree. Ivy League. I had a promising research career at one point. Love working with patients, especially severe mental inpatients. I haven't been able to do that for about 10 years. Anything would trigger me. Anything that reminded me of my childhood trauma, my childhood abuse, or the abuse with my ex-husband. It's been difficult integrating back into society. I was having issues focusing. It was it was something that I noticed since I got out. I'm more of a fast-paced person. Or since I got out, it's been slower pace for me. Everything felt slowed down, so my focus was a little doled out too. Me and my two younger brothers, they have tried all different kinds of therapy, from talk therapy to drug rehabilitation therapy, and nothing seemed to be helping them. Everything I've been getting from everybody treating me has been mostly medications and a pat on the back. John, he went from being this big personality with so much drive and so much potential to just being a shell of himself on the medications that the VA suggested for him. It was just heartbreaking to see how little treatment and care was given to him after everything that he'd given to serve his country. You know, he gets home and there's really nothing that they can do for him. Transcranial laser therapy. We laser the front of the head and we laser the side of the head. The laser goes in through the skull goes into the cortex based on some research studies that were published about two years ago to get the full extent of the laser's therapeutic benefit. You might need as much as 100 times the dose that's been used in the past. We're at about three times the dose, and I think even higher doses would be more therapeutic. John, you doing okay? And it just makes you more relaxed, and it's, it's just uh, it's a nice warm feeling. I haven't had any nightmares for the past 24, 25 days since the treatments have started, day four, day five, uh, I noticed that I wasn't having any more nightmares. Well, the treatments have definitely made me have a lot clearer view on my path. This treatment has just been incredible, the things that it has managed to help him with as far as, you know, sleeping, and he's off one of his highest dose medications. It's affected my life in a positive way. I'm back on track. John, nice to meet you. We deal with veterans. I have my whole career, you know, 47 plus years, not counting Vietnam, as a mental health officer. It's a national information and crisis hotline for all veterans. We get about 12 to 13,000 calls a year. These young vets coming out really have no idea how to reintegrate, and that deals with PTSD or the signature wound in these two wars, traumatic brain injury, TBI, and that's a physical injury to the brain. PTSD is an emotional injury to the brain. The symptoms almost parallel. 
if this procedure, the state of the art, corporate America needs to get involved. They need to fund billions of dollars. We had to know how to treat it. And I'm trained in several modalities, but this is very different. It's very new. I'm very excited. How long had you been dealing with the psychological pain? I've been dealing with it, I would say, since I was about 13. After getting out of the military, it was getting gradually more and more difficult. To me, it was just nothing short of a miracle. Since I started the laser treatments, I've been able to focus on kind of set a goal and stick with it and finish more than I plan on doing each day and that's huge for me. I'm actually doing the final edits on the second book that I have written, and I've edited 143 pages in the last week, and before that would have taken me a month, two months. This has been one of the most incredible gifts that I've been given in my adult life. We are just really hopeful that this is gonna be a, a wonderful treatment for me. I can remember what year it was. We tried every single modality, Eastern, Western, everything. Alternative psychotropic med, psychodynamic therapy, CBT, of course, but still daily anxiety. It's so bad the last three years, I haven't hardly left the house at all. I had at least 30 nightmares a week, including night terrors where I would wake up screaming. I would have nightmares of like children being vivisected or apocalyptic dreams, and the, the terror from those would last for days. I was a zombie. How was everything after the last treatment? Fantastic. It just feels like a, like a brain massage. So going from bedridden for the last three years, within the first treatment, my family noticed a huge difference. After the second treatment, then I noticed I was interested in showering and dressing and washing my hair. After the third treatment, it was a pure miracle. Instead of like five horrifying nightmares a night, I had zero and I slept eight hours that night with no medications. Once we're done with the treatments, I can't wait to get back home, get a job. I would recommend this to every single person who needs to get over a trauma of any kind. I more than recommend it, I beg it. Seeing what it's done for him, even in just the last month, has just been amazing. If it's something as little as 15 or 20 treatments, no drugs, no side effects, just improvement, then it needs to be out there. It needs to be done, and it needs to be given to our men and women that have served their country. There's millions of them, and uh, they're suffering. It's the sun on your face with your arms spread out, looking up to the sky. Not being a zombie hiding under the bed anymore. You don't have to hide from those memories anymore. I would say run here. Don't make the call, don't think about it, don't walk. Run, get here tomorrow. This will revive you and give you a life back. Run, run, run here. Please, don't live like that anymore. <laughs>